off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason We're going early. Hey, Chels. Hi. We're up early. We're getting going. What are we headed to do, Ash? Student leadership meeting. What is it? Student, student leadership. leadership. You got in student leadership, good for you. It's because the third, my third grade teacher is the idiot, and so she's picked me. Because you're a good little leader. Good for you. Proud of you. Disney. So we're going to start our day off. we got other stuff to do. What are you doing? Disney day. Oh, that's what it is at school? Yeah. So oh, it looks like you just like... So it's not much different than what you normally wear. <laughs> you silly girl. It so bright. All right, it we're going to go. Looks like you threw... Hi, friends. Did you show Ashley going to school this morning? What? Did you show Ashley going to her meeting this morning? I talked with her this morning before leaving. You did? Yeah. She was really excited. She, so I don't know if I've talked about this, but she um, had signed up to try and get on to be a recess coach like she did last year. She absolutely loved doing it last year. But at the same time, they were also calling for student leadership positions. And she's like, ah, I'll go for that too. But I don't think she realized it was one or the other. And so, um, when she got student leadership and they only pick like one or two kids per classroom, <laughs> she was like, oh, they really want me. Like she just, you know, she just kind of thought it was gonna be kind of like the recess coaching where kind of everyone who applies gets in or whatever. Um, so anyway, so she went to her first leadership meeting this morning and Jason graciously took her. I was awake, I could have taken her. I set my alarm to be able to take her. And he's like, ah, I'll go. I have a little bit of a sore throat. So he let me kind of sleep in a little bit. I didn't, I got up and I started checking emails and stuff from my phone. But we are gonna go outside um, right now. I have exactly one hour until I have to go to my post-op appointment with my surgeon, which I don't think it'll be more than just a little consult and figure out if we want to make any changes. But we have, Camp. So as I've been like, okay, we got to move this stuff aside to be able to get this stuff down, all the purple and the blue, and then that is the tree stand. All of that needs to come down, but I don't want to take it inside yet, so I want to stage it here, but I need to move this stuff, move that stuff up, and then make a little thing there. But then we discovered, oh, look at that. Yeah, that's where a hammer's that's been. That's where your hammer has been. Huh. That's called not putting it away. Oh. Oh. If only you remember where it was at, because you were by here all the time too. I didn't know it was there. Huh. I can't with this man. This is this is all <laughs> this is all over the place. Jason, are these ski poles broken? Well yeah, the tip got shoved in there. Okay. Do they broken. work anymore? I mean technically they work. Do you or will you use them ever again? Well, I could use them again. But will, no, will you? Have you have another pair. He oh, has a pair I bought him. You look can't see it. They're if right I there. If I find the replacement of this right here, I could get it. I could pop it in and they would be brand new. Or your wife was lovingly enough to give you a new pair of poles right there. I just said, oh, oh I could get you a new. such a waste to just do You've had it. these our entire marriage, correct? Uh, well, not entire. Like maybe we got them. My second year, our second year. 20 years. We're gonna, we're gonna, this is his whoopee. Like these kinds of things are hard for him to get rid of. Well, it's such a waste. It's, it's not a waste, piece. it's gone, if it's done. It's, it. it's served its it purpose. Would, it would be, it would be, Please put it away, please waste. throw it away. Right. I can't even donate it for Ashley's fundraiser no, because broken. it needs to be thrown away. It's broken. I guess the baby. You, I'm gonna walk with the him. We're gonna walk, we're gonna bait, we're gonna help him through this little process. Walk with me, please. Walk with me. I guess a thousand years from now when they dig it up, they'll be like, wow, this is a ceremonial stick. Throw it away. And don't pull it back out when I go inside. It's such a waste. It's not a waste, it's it's broken. I know, but it could be easily fixed. If but you can't find a part. part, they don't make them. They say, get new pairs. Some things That's you can fix. That's problem with our consumer It's society. not my problem. Okay. It's mine, I'm trying to solve it. Yours becoming my problem. Guess what? You married me, so. <laughs> You're just highlighting my problem. <laughs> Thank you, honey. You helped me clear this area here on the ground. 
We we have agreed to sell the ski boots. Yeah. They still work. Yeah, of course they still work. Okay. So um I don't know I don't know what buckets have I mean they're labeled and stuff, but it's hard to like know they all come down. Most of them come down. Because we definitely need the light the li lights. We don't need the Christmas wrapping yet. We definitely need the lights. Um and then this tree stand and the Christmas tree. But the Christmas tree is right there. Okay, we're gonna get this Chris hang on. You guys are gonna go on top of my car because he would probably flip a biscuit if I put something plastic on top of his car. So we're gonna I'm gonna help him get this down. Okay. I don't know how close I'm I not get. sure how to do this either. I just gotta keep it from like crashing down. I know this bulky tree right here is for our church. We should probably just take that. Oh, I can't take it till after Thanksgiving, I guess. I, I can't even Okay, right, 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 right. <laughs> you got it I was moving it to make it easier. I thought you were gonna like Here. play a little macho man to take it yourself. <laughs> I was just Alright, just got done with my surgeon. <laughs> Way different than I thought it was gonna be today. Um, so it was just a quick follow-up to see how I'm recovering, see how everything looks. And he likes he likes everything in the stage of the scarring and all his nips and tucks and stuff. And it was really interesting because like um, the one thing um, I want done um, different is something that he instantly <laughs> maybe this is just quick TMI during the exam like I don't have a shirt on and he just literally with his fingers he's like I think it, we could just he just felt like that and yep if that's what I would like to do I would like to nip and tuck I would like to like perk it up a little bit and he was like all right let's talk about that in six months because the scar really has to like heal and there's no point in doing it now because well there is a point but like it, he doesn't want to do it now the scar needs to heal um and whatnot but it led to an interesting conversation um about you know because he's like if you were to maybe in a year be um in the operating room for maybe say the other procedure we've talked about in the past which is my stomach he's like i think that i would do all that other stuff for free because you're already on the operating table. <laughs> I technically have like a, a free follow-up to make sure everything is um, like if I had a little skin, uh, what did it call, skin tag left over from the scar tissue or you know just little details like this, a little, a little tuck, maybe even like reduce. Um, we were worried that one side is um, a different size than the other. He looked at my old pictures, like my pre-surgery to today, and he was like, the interesting thing is that your chest is just going to do what it has always done. And your chest is two different sizes. And so he's like, that's physiology. That's maybe not something that I'm ever going to be able to like completely master because your body just wants to be that way. So I could maybe take some more tissue out of one side. I could perk them both up in the same way, but your body in six months or a year or whatever after that surgery might just relax back into the same position of one a little bit different than the other. And he's like, and that's okay because <laughs> that's just the way your body is. So that was interesting and kind of a little bit reassuring to know that like he's not doing something wrong what you know during the surgery it's just it's just my body is the one that's a problem but then the other thing you know and i said you know because he's very um impressed with my motivation he's like something tells me that when you set your mind to something um you go for it and i think you're going to get the weight loss that you want in order to have the surgery on your stomach i said okay so let me ask you a question I said, I would love to motivate myself enough in a year to have lost the weight in my stomach to a point where I could then have it all tucked in and nice and tight and it would look great. And he was like, mm hmm, I know where you're going with this. And I said, so what if I was just extra motivated and I just wanted to do it now? I just wanted to do my stomach now or soon or whatever. And he says, I wouldn't recommend it because he said it's a much easier surgery to do with loose skin than it is he's like this goes back to so it's a it, this is a con combined con conversation about my chest he said the he doesn't want to do any kind of a perkiness a 
perk me up, if you will, lift and tuck with my chest because time will be on our hands. He said, the more you let these rest and get into their natural place over the next year, six months to a year post-op, the more I can nip and tuck it, the more it stretches into a natural position, the more skin I can then take out. When it's in its natural place, I can perk it back up and it will stay there as opposed to like, you know, so if I had had the surgery, if I nip and tuck it in three months, naturally it's going to sag again over the next nine months. And then I'm left with something a little saggy again. And he's like, so if we waited a year post-surgery, I could really get it up into a good place. And then the body is kind of done putting it back into place. And your stomach is the same way. The more you can lose, the more loose skin I have to take out, the tighter I can get your stomach. He's like, I just can't do that as well when you have more body fat to get rid of. It's just it, your body, I need to have loose skin. Of course he can do the surgery, but he showed me um, some actual, he took me into his office. He's like, I know this is really unconventional. If you don't wanna see operation you know, footage, then you don't have to look at this, but I'm, I was interested. Um, and I, I full on saw like operating table, stomach wide open <laughs> images, but it really showed me what it looked like to have someone, she had lost like 120 pounds having had a gastric bypass, I think. And so all this loose skin in her stomach and then had a tummy tuck done. And he said all of that loose skin was so easy to go in and take out. And all I was left with was this nice, taut, tight skin um, that hadn't been stretched out from the sides. And I was just able to pull all that in together and tighten it up and she looked amazing. So he's like, so you let this be your motivation to keep going forward and lose the weight and then come back to me in a year and we'll see what we can do. So that's my motivation. It was very eye-opening. So anyway, I'm gonna head back home. That went faster than I thought. So I'm gonna head back home and maybe Jason's done with the tree. Maybe I'll remind him maybe he was setting it up when I left. I just was in a hurry so I couldn't show you start him starting it. So we're gonna go back home. I know he is gonna go and take Abby to the bank. Um, she is transferring a majority of her money that she has earned and putting it into a CD or a money market account um, to earn interest. I think interest is up to like 5% that she can earn, um, which is a lot for a 16 year old. <laughs> So he's taking her to the bank at some point when she gets home from school here. And so that's kind of an exciting thing to know that your child is starting life out so responsible and I'm not even earning interest on any money I currently have. I mean, we have investment money, but I, I almost deem that as like Jason, like him knowing, I mean, it's both of us. I get it, it's both of our money, but like, I don't know. I don't know. It's technically not money I earned and then I'm earning interest on it. <laughs> Very proud of my little Abby. She's going to have investment money before she even has this surgery. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, just got home. Stopped off at a different dollar store on my way home. This dollar store, you guys, is so good. It has so much more and it's so organized. This is not my style of Christmas paper by any means. In fact, this one has winter dinosaurs, but they have these cool little gift box sets in like, this is like a really good size for like, I'm thinking I already know what my kids are getting and like, these are really good size boxes. And then I got napkins for Thanksgiving dinner, as well as a tablecloth to go on our, on our folding table. And then they also had this size of box again, like this is a great size. It's like a tie box size, but I can already think of things that I'm giving my kids that are going to work great. And I don't care like what the decor is on the outside of it because I'm going to wrap it regardless. So like the, they'll just find these and it's funny. And then I have all of my other gift wrapping in a bucket and I save the boxes from year to year, but I don't have this size. So that's kind of perfect. And if we come in here, Jason's left with Abby, um, but this is where he's at on the Christmas tree. See, and this is, it's weird. Like you can see now in the camera that the light color is different. He was worried about this because it did change. 
It's so strange. We got like all the same lights. You can totally see this in the camera. So I don't know. He still has like these bulb colors to go on. And then um, I think that's the last set that he has to put on it. I don't know why it looks so different. Like on the tree when I'm looking at it, it, um, oh man. So you're gonna get an oddly looking tree in camera. I can't really notice it. So if you, he's still putting this set on right here. So here's this light right here versus that one. I guess it is a lot different. That one's more yellow. That's more white. I don't know. We've got all the same light, so I don't understand how it's like this different, but hopefully when we get these ones on, those ones are more the color of the bottom, and then we'll wrap the whole thing in that color and kind of, I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> it looks so strange. Okay, fast forward hours. We are at Hobby Lobby trying to find more decorations for the store and um, fix our light situation. I think we're gonna go to Target and match the lights we already have. I'm trying to find Jason. He needs more fluff that he got, like he got last time. Where did he go? But um, they need it poofier. I don't know what he's doing with that. I'm putting it all in our hands of our manager. She knows what she's doing. And she's just telling him what to get. <laughs> I think we're gonna go to the fabric section and actually look for some like actual batting so it's fluffier. Literally, I lost him in Hobby Lobby. Luckily, Ashley knows this store. Oh, there's Ashley. Where's dad? Did he go over to fabric? Totally called it. Well, we struck out on uh, the fluff. Right? I can't do a huge So we're gonna go look for lights at Target where we got our other ones. I can't do a huge Right? But you got some spray snow for the windows, yep. right? Yep. Alright, ignore the previews playing behind us. Love. We were able to find <laughs> Jason's <laughs> fluff at Target, a second Target, and my lights. And uh, now we're at a movie, right? Will you accept this we just got here early. Symbol of my love. So we have a few oh, minutes. No. Stupid <laughs> preview <laughs> commercial. Um, we first set out to make we're seeing the Hunger Games. Some said, and I never actually read this book. So we did. I read the I first one. Like, like, I, I didn't read this on one. So I, this is all new for me. It's going to be kind of good. The it's whole, like a prequel or something. Yeah. The whole theater is sold out. We have the last two seats that we I reserved. But we're hoping to move over to the middle, to the handicapped seats, um, as soon as the movie starts. Because those are the best seats. That's well, a hat. As soon as it starts to fill the little bit. My growing algae to make fuel. Okay, so we are out of the movie. What'd you think? It was really good. Yeah, it was good. We I don't I know why I never book. read the book. I think I even have it. Yeah, well, I think we have it. I started it and then I never did, but this is like years ago. Yeah. Um, but it's a great movie. It's, you yeah, know, it was considering really the movies out it's actually really good yeah like we understand hunger games we read all the regular ones yeah but it's the rise of snow uh-huh it's good I'm glad we went out i'm glad we went to the seven o'clock show though <laughs> yeah it's 10 o'clock right now so this thing took a while yeah it was a long movie but it was good it kept you going yeah it was so, really good well thanks for coming along today we're heading home i got work tomorrow yep so thanks for joining us thanks for joining us tomorrow we'll, he'll fix the no, we won't do it tomorrow. You'll have to do it Sunday. What? The Christmas tree. <laughs> Something to a little look messed up. To. We'll show you our Christmas tree. What well, needs to be that set up for like Thanksgiving? Yeah, we have to get it done early because we don't have time in December. No, yeah, well, I just want it problem, done. So. I just want it done before Abby's surgery. Okay, okay, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Stop! You're such a dork. Leave You're a the comment. only one who ever says that. On, don't say no, it. No, everybody says that. I don't. I don't say it here you on my grow channel. Your subscribers. I don't do it. I think it's tacky. <laughs> I say hi, welcome, and okay. see you later next time. Okay. Good night. Turn it off. <laughs>